hello and welcome to today's video this video brings to you our new modular container home series the inbox home series if you are looking for a way to extend the bedroom wing of your existing house then don't go away this container module is the best solution with little or no interruption to your existing house stay tuned to find out more In today's video, we explore our new Inbox 640B. Inbox 640B is a container module of a three bedrooms wing designed using two 40 foot shipping containers. This module is ideal for a family planning to make an extension to the bedrooms wing of an existing house. This video will highlight the design brief of the bedrooms. 3D floor plans, full color pictures of the exterior and interior design with finishes options, and a cost estimate checklist to guide you with your own container house project. We post weekly videos of modern homes designed using shipping containers to suit any family size. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our inspiring weekly videos on amazing design ideas and shipping container homes designs. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. Structure and modification. This modular design uses two 40 foot shipping containers to create a 640 plus square feet inbox bedrooms module. This bedrooms module is designed to accommodate the following salient features. The entrance lobby is through the laundry room through which you access the rompers room of the bedrooms module. The rompers room can also double up as a TV room for this bedroom wing. From here, you can access two other bedrooms, bedroom one and bedroom two on the right hand side of the module, or go to the master bedroom end suite with a walk-in closet on the right hand side of the module. This design series uses standardized and optimal sized windows and doors that don't require any specialized modification to the walls of the shipping container save for the full height 3 meter wide doors opening to the terrace. This container bedrooms module is fitted with two 3 meter wide full height folding and sliding glass doors to provide ventilation, adequate daylighting, and physical access to the family terrace with direct access from the rompers room and the master bedroom respectively. Adequate fenestrations for daylighting helps to kill the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container. So you are encouraged to use and provide as much adequate daylighting as possible in your container house. The original cargo doors in this design on one end of the container are used in an open position to create a private Juliet balcony to the master bedroom. Interior design. Adopt a minimalist interior design when furnishing a container house. Remember to use space-saving furniture ideas like Murphy beds in this bedroom wing to allow for multifunctional use of the space without littering the space with too much furniture. With Murphy beds, you can use the space as a children's playroom during the day and a bedroom space at night. Use flat pack cabinets for the wardrobes rather than custom units since they are versatile and come in a range of sizes and colors. Flat packs will help you save on time and money. The laundry is fitted with an access door which can act as a good linkage to other modules, especially the living room module. The glass panel door is ideal to ventilate and daylight the sink space in the laundry. Insulation and temperature control. The interior of the bedrooms module is lined with an appropriate insulation material depending on the climate. Without insulation, 
the bedroom space would be like an oven in summer and freezing in winter. Insulation is essential to prevent condensation which can corrode the container and cause mold. To achieve the best results in cold climate locations used closed cell spray foam insulation. In tropical climate, keeping away heat from your container house is the biggest challenge. Insulation blanket with plasterboard lining will do just fine. To finish off the interior, the walls are lined with plasterboard given a light colored paint to make the interior space look brighter and bigger. You are encouraged to use a damp proof cause underlay to cover the existing plywood floor of the shipping containers then finish it with laminated timber flooring. Use similar materials to finish the wet areas of the container module to create a harmonious space in the bedroom wing. Ensure all the electrical and plumbing works are fitted out before lining the interior. You are free to try out an alternative interior finishes depending on your tests and preference. Foundation design. Before the container modules are delivered on site, it is advisable to have an appropriate foundation to accommodate your new containers. Use a raised foundation level to elevate the containers away from moisture. The elevated position of the containers will provide the height necessary to construct a deck depending on the choice of foundation used. A deck is a quick and an easy way to add extra living space to the rather limited space inside a shipping container. The different types of foundation you can use are a pier foundation which can be either concrete or steel. If you live in a flood prone area you can try out a pile foundation. If you want to build a bigger and a, a much wider project using shipping containers a rough foundation would do just fine. You can also try out a strip foundation if you intend to do a basement to your shipping container project or if you are a, an environment conscious person. You can try out recycled materials like used electric and telephone poles which will act as timber beams to elevate your containers away from the ground. This design comes with a wooden deck almost the entire length of one side of the container module to provide the much needed outdoor retreat family space. One of the walls of the container modules is almost left solid to allow for additional modules to be joined or added on that side. Access to the additional modules is through the laundry entrance. To cover off the large walls of the container that are left bare, a mesh wire is welded onto the exterior to accommodate vines and climbers to introduce some greenery to that elevation. The basic design for Inbox 640B comes with a corrugated steel container exterior. If you are using a one trip container, consider leaving the exterior as it is with its original color and markings to preserve its charm and history. It will also help you to save on come again. It will also help you to save on the cost of painting the exterior afresh. This design comes with additional timber modules to form the entrance porch, Juliet balcony exclosure, and a timber fascia board to the roof. Other exterior finishes like a local bond, which is finished in red, has been used on this particular module. You can try out other materials like plasterboard or timber cladding, whichever is appropriate for you. Roof design. Every design of Inbox 640B comes with a covered signature standard seam flat roof with a side extension to cover the outdoor family terrace. When setting out your foundation, remember to add some extra space to accommodate the deck or the family terrace. Other roof types that can be used in this design include a corrugated roof cover and a planted living roof. The cost estimates checklist. The inbox 640B comes with a cost estimate checklist. 
this is an itemized checklist to guide you on the things to consider when planning for your own shipping container project. The design inclusions in this list are the size of the house to build, the size of the deck to add, the overall dimensions of the house, the number of rooms and types of rooms to be accommodated in your shipping container module, the shipping container modules to be used either 20 or 40 foot. You can also look at the foundation types and modifications to be used in your shipping container. Another thing to look at is the insulation and temperature control strategies to use in your shipping container project. You can also explore different exterior finishes. You can try out different interior finishes and also have a clear look at fittings and fixtures to use in this shipping container module. If you have any staircases and balconies, you can also consider them. And last but not least, the type of roofing material and technique used. The prices of the items in the list are subject to vary depending on your country, currency exchange rate, taxes, government regulations, individual tests and preferences will also be a factor. For correct and factual figures, consult the relevant experts in your country. Drawings and details. If you like this design and want to make an extension, to the bedroom's wing of your existing house, then feel free to visit our website and purchase the blueprints and give them to your builder or fabricate it yourself as a DIY project. The standard set of drawings come in DWG and PDF formats to suit your preference. The set of drawings have dimensioned floor plans, elevations, roof plan, a foundation plan, and a sectional detail. For any reservations, design inquiries, or custom designs done using shipping containers, contact us on our website, sheltermod.com. So, what do you feel about our new shipping container modular design series? Do you have any questions? Feel free to ask by posting in the comments below. If you need further inspiration, feel free to visit our YouTube channel to check out our other container homes designs. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on shipping container homes. If you've not watched our previous video on the living module, you are encouraged to watch it because next week we are going to show you how you can combine these bedrooms module to the livings module so that you can have a complete house that can be delivered to your site and assembled within no time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.